Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Genshin. I got Ito finally. He's nowhere near built, but he's good enough to use, so we're going with that. But welcome back, everybody. They got a new event going on, so we're back to that Genshin life. Because I love Genshin. I'm gonna go check out this new event with Lisa because I'm excited because it's got Lisa and Jean. It was Jean's birthday like the other day, and I love Jean. I love Jean and Lisa a lot. They're great characters. <laughs> hey, Blade. You're gonna wail for Luocha? That's crazy. Rip your wallet, but I respect it. I respect the hustle. I can't say I didn't wail for Ito. I finally got him. Who else did I wail for? I wailed pretty oh, hard for, um... Cutie. To what do I owe the honor trying to get who's... I don't think I've wailed too hard in Star Rail. I don't remember who. I, yeah, I, I never wailed, wailed too bad in Star Rail yet. Star Rail's been pretty good about letting me have time to grind and giving me a good heads up. Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? I've missed Lisa so much. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. You work? Wait, you're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. It's really not. <laughs> you're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much Pekka, thinking for a long time. Uh, we'll so finish the Pentacony exactly. quest soon. I just, this is an event in Genshin, and I admit I have more fun with Genshin sometimes, um, because the gameplay's a little bit more engaging in Genshin to me. But, um, we'll finish that soon, probably next weekend, because I do have to go into the office this week, unfortunately, so I do have to do a bunch of stuff tomorrow. I don't even know how long I'll stream today. I'll probably be a shorter stream because of that, because I do have to go into the office next week, which sucks. So I'll be very busy, but probably next weekend we'll finish Pentacony. It is on my list to do. I just want to do this event first. Because, like, I like the events. And, and like, it's, a, it's an event with Lisa and Jean. I can't not do it. You working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on you're the You're trying fun? to make me do your work. What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. I love Lisa. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together. And you would, of course, be generously rewarded. I'm all yours. As you probably know, Actually, the yeah, I thought she's coming. Have long conducted research. She's gonna be so popular when she drops. The fandom is gonna explode. Has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. She'll explode. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Well, damn. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day. So Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use. And the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Mascot, I'm great with Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. 
efficient. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That's cute. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two You're pre farming for Locha? That's fair. Pre farm is a bitch when a new character comes. God, the pre farming is a bitch. Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks? The Traveler. I am the greatest. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. That doesn't sound like the Academia, sure I know. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. <laughs> I mean, Paimon's not wrong. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. I love you, Lisa. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. Okay, thank you, Lisa. But look, I got Ito finally! Look how cool he is! No, I'm gonna make a racket. Fuck you. Cow! Thoughts on playable Archito? I mean... She looks cool. I, um, spent everything I have on Ito and his weapon, so my, um, if we look at my wishes right now, I am, uh, the tank is empty on wishes, so it will not be happening for me, but my girlfriend is incredibly excited for, um, Arlecchino, um, so she'll at least have it. I won't, but no, she looks cool. I mean, I'm excited for the new boss fight, too. She looks cool. I still don't know how I feel about her character, because, like, Everything about her makes me think she's gonna betray us because, like, her name's her name's the Knave, and like, Scaramouche and Tartaglia already comment how she's not trustworthy and stuff like that. So, like, I have my doubts that it's kind of like the thing of like press X to doubt on like her morals as a character. But she looks cool. Her design's really solid. I like that she's using a scythe. I would have been very disappointed if she didn't use a scythe. So I'm glad that they did it because, like, if they didn't give her a scythe, what are they doing? Like, what are we doing with our lives if she doesn't use the scythe? Like, what are we even here for? So, I feel like, though, it's, it's kind of a shame because I- Ah! I didn't fall in the water! It's kind of a shame because I feel like the cooler a character's um, signature weapon is, the more, like, you have to roll for it. And, like, Arlecchino looks so cool with the scythe, you, like, almost need it. Granted, I always try to get the character signature weapon because, like, I think it looks better with a signature weapon. I got Baiju's by accident. I do have Baiju's signature weapon, but I did not mean to get his. It was just an accident because I wanted Farina's. Uh, but I got Miko's because she's one of my favorite characters. I got Ito's because his looks like this looks great. Look at the red horn. Look at the red horn Stone Thresher. It looks fucking great. I couldn't not get it. So, but Arlochino, like it being the only scythe in the game, I feel like other spears will look really dumb on her. They're just- why are there just bottles everywhere? This doesn't look like it's properly stored. This doesn't meet- I don't think this is up to code. Why is this set up in the middle of nowhere, Lisa? <sighs> this is the shop. Why is it set up in the middle of fucking nowhere? Wouldn't this do better in town? Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? It was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the Oh, you want to go for E1? Oof, I wish you luck. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potion. I never get lucky with getting E1 of anybody. And the Except for Clara. handling the provision of all future supplies. But, like, that's Clara, so I don't think that counts. Now, with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The yeah. knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Gotcha. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? I could be a wizard! I get to harness my inner Merlin. Your alchemic journey has begun! Use your ingredients and a little inspiration for some fresh new concoctions. Okay. Hi, Lisa. Okay. Uh, place ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate for the concoction. When the tuning rate reaches 100% or higher, your concoction quest will be finished. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, it's the... It's like the, the bag from Resident Evil. 
Okay. Oh, I can do this. It's like the bag from Resident Evil. What am I trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do. Can I like rotate them? Ah, I can't rotate them. Perfect. Ah, but I can't spin them. That sucks. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Mushroom, mushroom. Uh, complete concocting? Confirm completion. Sure. Bare bones basic bottle. Complete packaging. Beginner strength potion. Look at that. I'm the greatest. You will initially have one chance to concoct a potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when concocting a potion, you gain more alchemy level experience and potion exper ingredient experience. There's a chance to create a much stronger potion if you use a good opportunity to create more potions. Okay. Gotcha. Ooh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Do I get to know what it does, or did I just throw a bunch of shit in a pot? I think I just made soup. I don't know what any of those plants did. I think I made soup. Then again, a potion kind of is soup, if you think about it. I made three. Nice. Uh, save and exit. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Oh, pay close attention to the financial reports and see which potions are selling better. That way we can figure out which potions are the most in demand. Oh god, I have to do capitalism? But oh, it seems like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Thank you, Lisa. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kinda hard. I'm real stupid, Lisa. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. That's good, because I'm stupid. Uh, Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. The owner of Mondstadt Flower Shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushy. Lushly, I can't read. And extent they are in bloom. Okay, so I need to do stuff for flowers and stuff for fighting. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Potions that make you strong. And try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. Hello there. All right, cutie. Hello there. Why don't you get started? <laughs> General Kenobi! <laughs> that chaos. Lisa, I think you're greatly overestimating my intelligence, girl. I'm not a wizard. That chaos, how are you? Lisa, what part of how I look looks like a wizard? Cow. I throw cow. Take that, Lisa. You're EP. That's fair. Oh, I get a little garden? Lisa gave me a garden. That's cool. I choose you, cow. Look at my little baby cow. Anyway, uh, how do I grow plants? Different cultivation areas can be assigned and green separately. After a certain number of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and harvested. Once you've completed a harvest, cultivation area will automatically cultivate previous selected ingredients. Cultivation... The... Yeah, I'm... this event, I get to be an alchemist, so I have to, like, grow... I have to grow herbs and spices and make them in a pot and be a wizard. The cultivation process of the ingredient will not be saved if you change the ingredient inside of the cultivated area. Got it. You want a garden snus fair? I'm way too lazy for a garden in real life. After your alchemy level increases, you can unlock more cultivation ingredients. You'll be able to go to the Knights of Avonia support staff to expand the funds. This is There's a lot going into this. <laughs> there's a lot 
going in here. Uh, grow peppers, I guess? You can change the ingredients here at any time. Got it. But I don't know what ingredients I need. Okay, I guess leave. I guess I'll grow peppers and whatever those things are, I guess. Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation sure. side of things. Sure. Sure. That's not what I would say, but sure. Uh, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. What about you? <laughs> Lisa, this is your job. You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Lisa! Okay. I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Lisa, you can't just pawn your work off on me because you're hot. I knew this would happen. You can't just pawn your work off on me because you're hot, Lisa. She's gone already, isn't she? Yep, goddammit, Lisa. All right, well, I guess I'm on my own now. She taught me the bare bones of alchemy and now I'm fucked. All right, hey, Frida. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, yes, she can. Honor. You and the rest of the fandom. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and his loyal attendant. Wow, Hi, Frida. Pymon's fame is really spreading across the land. Yes, Paimon, your fame. Um, one small correction, though. Paimon's his companion, not his attendant. No, you're my attendant. <sighs> my apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. I am pretty great. You're practically legends at this point. I right? am. I'm a bit jealous, actually. That's fair, I am pretty I'd great. I love to wander the land in search of adventure, like one of those knights you read about in stories. <sighs> Seems like a really fun life. You should do it then. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, at least. She's adorable, I love anyway, her already. We've got some prep work to wrap up, right? Sadly. My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Uh, purchase supplies? Your luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. I wish I had the foggiest idea what I should be buying. Oh, I do want that. Cultivation area. That sounds good. More plants are always good, right? I think. Oh, bottle. I can't afford any of that. Okay, well, I guess I'm just buying the garden spot. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have bought the thing immediately without hesitation. Oh, Paimon's doing science. Okay, these animations are adorable, actually. Okay, I can work with this. Okay, operations handbook. Use the operations handbook to actively end the cycle. Resting on Lisa's chair can also see the same results. You can view the next complete status of area cycle track icons. Oh, I get it, I think. So that's a strength potion. I wish I had the foggiest idea what I was doing. <laughs> Hold on, I wanna plant more, I wanna do more plants before I start the next cycle. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Ah! Don't jump. Um, what should I, gr I don't know what to grow though. Um, well I have the least amount of horsetails, so I guess I'll grow that. That's not even how horsetails grow. But whatever, we're doing, ma I guess we're doing magic science, so I guess who cares. Um, okay. So I did, Lisa, are you really just gonna chill here? All right. Financial report. I made money. Pay close attention to financial revenue. Okay. Lisa, you gotta help. Have a question for me, cutie? Oh, I can just she's just tutorials. Okay, I have no more questions. Well, if there's anything else you want to. Okay, bye. All right, bye, Lisa. Oh, a trigger menu can be harvested. Oh shit, they already grew. Okay. Nice. Uh, harvest all. I guess I'll just leave them the same for now because I don't know what I need. Okay. So I guess back to brewing, back to science. When placing greens to the potion, you can gain efficiency values of different types, including constitution and so on. You will continue to find a potion with the highest term of the potion's type and grade. There are four different potion types, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and special to determine the sale price. The efficiency was not sufficient to reach the next portion of the grade. You will convince the potion one ten increase in sale. What the fuck is happening? I don't understand anything. Um... Is there a way I can, like, look at what... Okay, so that's Dexterity, Charisma, Wisdom, Balance, Strength. What the fuck? 
fragrant, warm, relaxing. I am so confused. I guess I want strength and constitution, right? Because they said the things for the adventurers was good right now, right? I don't understand anything. Oh, it says on the side, I think. Wait. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so I want to try to make something for the adventurers, I guess. So... I need to try to put as many of these in there as I can. I love that it's just the- I love that it's just the box from Resident Evil 4. I can't think that. What am I thinking? what I'm missing I'm wasting a space god damn it I'm at 145 that's good enough right it's endurance and it's warm that's probably good right complete packaging because that's they said they, that adventurers were looking for stuff right now right so like it's an endurance potion that's good for adventurers wouldn't it be? I don't understand anything. Enhance potion? When conditions have met, you can spend funds to improve your financial potion product higher pro- Oh. Oh, I can make it better. So I made a better version. I totally understand. I totally, I mean, not at all. I totally understand everything. Do I go put this on sale? I guess. Your potions conduct must be stocked before they can be sold. Potions ideal. Okay. When each operation ends, your portions will be sold. Okay. Wait. Oh, wait, I made the same potion twice. Am I stupid? Can I only say- wait. No! Wait, hold on. Wait, am I dumb? I think I just made the same potion twice like a dipshit. Lisa, I'm real dumb. Five on shut up. Do these bottles matter? It's slightly improved quality potion, all special potions on the same bottle. Okay. So I guess the potions do matter, I guess. I don't understand anything at all in life. I'm gonna plant more plants, though, because I think the more ingredients I have, the better I'll be? I have so many questions about everything. Anyway. a new potion, I guess. Um, different ingredients have ten different characteristics, including warm and endurance, so on for corresponding ingredients. Add, okay. So... I made a strength potion. Can I make, like, a vitality potion? What if I... I 
totally know what I'm doing. This event is, like, so not built for me, because I'm real stupid. I'm more of a beat-the-enemy-up kind of guy. Okay, so the Constitution Potion did a little bit better than my Beginner Strength Potion. Uh, a... Draft of Springvale is recruiting hunters for exceedingly speedy Borking. A uh, scholar from Mycelogia is trying to decipher information from it. Okay. Why'd the music get all jazzy all of a sudden? You like jazz, chat? <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> Improved alchemy culture. Give me that. You like jazz? Hey, catch me. Uh, okay, so we need a speed potion. Speed. Look at that, almost 200%. I am the speed. I'm a genius alchemist. Dexterity potion. That's the same as speed, right? Eh, probably. It's fine. That's probably right. Look at that. Uh, enhance potion. Enhance. Look at that. Level 9. That. I'm a genius. This is. I'm the greatest alchemist ever. I am quite possibly a god. Um, dexterity potion. Put that up there right now. That'll to That'll be a huge hit. Everyone will love it. I am actually the greatest. Show me that doing the best. Yeah, yeah, big exterior potion. That was the best. I'm a genius. Hello there, Honor. I heard you're helping Miss Lisa out with running the Knight's Alchemy Shop. The manager says that we're now colleagues in business here at Mondstadt. We'd like to thank you for your frequent patrons, loyal customer, good hunter, by offering these funds to help support the shop's revenue, allowing you more happy customer benefits. Oh, thanks, man. I don't think that's how businesses work, but cool. Does that mean I have a business partner now? Can I buy any more upgrades? Give. Yeah. I am going to max out the farm first and foremost. Um... Something for the quality potions, all specific balls, the same buff. Oh! All specific potions, balls provide the same buff. So they all have the same buff. Well, we're getting the cat bottle then. If I'm, I'm, All my potions will be in a cat bottle then. From now on. If they all have the same buff, then... Definitely doing cat bottles. Like, I mean... Be real. Uh, what should I grow? What am I? What do I need to grow? So I have peppers. Uh, I need to grow ching ching. There we go. Nice. Harvest all, baby. I'm getting a swing of it now. Now I understand. I've got. I got this. I got this. You all probably doubted me, but I got this. 
Once you've mastered the advanced technique of stacking ingredients, each time you concoct a potion, there will be squares in which ingredients may be stacked within the cauldron. As your alchemy increases, stacks will increase. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a genius. This is easy. Because he also wanted one to understand stuff. So this will give you a better understanding into the world around you. I'm going to... That's char That's charisma, actually. Wisdom is the book. I'm stupid. That's fine. We're not going to talk about that. That I can't read. This will give you a better understanding. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. We're just not gonna talk about it. I don't have very much Ching Ching, unfortunately, though. Um, but we're gonna use all that I got on this potion. Wish I had more. But you know, that's fine. It's fine. That's eh, fine. Totally fine. I am definitely a genius. And we're going in the chunky cat bottle! Look at that! Uh, if the two highest efficiency values are the same grade, you can reach a certain standard combination push. Which combination push will have two types of efficiency. The sale price will not increase. It can more easily satisfy demands. Nice! I'm a genius! I'm actually the greatest ever in the world. Let's increase that even further, because why not? I am actually possibly the greatest. Anyway, Lisa, you're gonna make so much money off this. Um, let's take the strength one down though and put that up instead, because that one was doing the worst. So let's stock the potions. Look at all them primos! Love it. Living for it. Uh, operation info? These correspondence? Oh, yeah, that's just that. Okay. Here's Wisdom and Corozo Potion. It immediately did great. So my Dexterity Potion. My Dexterity Potion is actually still being a top seller. I guess people are still looking for the, um, boars. Great job, Q. Gene asked for sports to give us additional funds. Here you go. Nice! More money! More money! Operations Handbook. Booyah. I'm a bottle bottle soon. Alright, peace! what I should try to make. Um, uh, maybe another speed potion? Maybe more speed?
I'll actually do anything good. Well, I made a better dexterity potion at least. Can't catch me. Maybe I should start trying to do combo things. Nah, at least I made a better dexterity potion. So, not a total waste of the day, but you know. Oh, Beto and Eula? That's not a big cut like people I expected to see together. What's a pirate from China hey, and a knight up? doing here? Hey Beto! What's up, girl? It's been a while. Hey Eula. Whoa, Beto and Eula! Wait, you two know each other? Didn't expect to see you two together. <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Why? Wow. You were taking the initiative and making friends? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being uh, hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? Damn. Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding. What did you do? That's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. <laughs> misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to uh, a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. You beat them up. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in... Oh, it... Wasn't a pretty sight. So you beat them up. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before. And they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked their captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I had a few too many and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Mm, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. I could make something, probably. Uh, let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? 
Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? Uh, no. No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. It's just that, uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza, or if she just has too many things on her mind. Is it Ningguang? Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Is it Ningguang? Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. That's me, Ningguang. All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away. Great, thanks for the help. No problem, Captain. All right. A bard monster helps to put on a good show for show the reports. Okay, so Crystal Potion. Cavalry Captain of the Knights of Odyssey Sling Squad and aims to clear out bandits skulking outside the city. Okay. And then Beto wants a sleep potion? Oh. How's the potion making going? <laughs> Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Any more time? Take all the time you need. Hold on, I'll be there in a second. Hold on. So I need a, how do I make a sleeping potion? Um, which one would do sleep? Endurance, technique, focus, steadying, fragrant, warm, relaxing, I guess? I want relaxing. Um, I don't know which of these would do for, so dandelions are relaxing, I guess. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I back out? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on, I fucked up. Oh, it takes forever for dandelions to come back. That sucks. Okay. Um, F. Improved alchemy cauldron. How do I make a sleeping potion? I don't understand. Blarg. I don't know what I'm doing. Hopefully that does it. I don't know. None of them say sleep. I understand nothing. I don't understand. I don't know. Beto, here. I don't know. Take this. How's the potion making going? Here you go. Uh, special guests will sometimes drop by or pressure their connect special card to help no. Okay. Uh, I can't give the potion I made specifically for that. Okay. Constitution effectively this uh, potion with constitution effectively displays reaction characteristics. Okay. That one I guess. There you go. I don't know. I'm bad at this. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? 
If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. Thank you, Beto. On behalf of the Reconnaissance Company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. All right, bye, girls. Um, well, I'm gonna replace that one with that one just for that. And then we'll just stock the potions like that. And then tomorrow I'll make one for, um, the bard thing for a charisma potion. I already have a charisma potion. Wait, that's actually beginner's wisdom and charisma. So I'm actually doing pretty good on that front. Congratulations on the order wrapping here at the biggest customer of Mondstadt. Good news is also our colleague look for another one for in Mondstadt. Every store often helps out with since the beginning. Oh, thank you. Yeah, buy all the ball bottles. So many of those. Um, okay, we'll do that. Aye. Reach the maximum level three types of ingredients. Okay. I got the magical girl stick. Nice. I got the magical girl stick. Hell yeah. Cause yeah, Bard Monster Cavalry Captain is about to clear it, so I need strength, dexterity, charisma, wisdom, steadying. Okay, so I want charisma, wisdom, steadying. Okay. No. I use the more complicated things first. Like that. Um. I wish I could flip it. So aggravated, I can't flip it. to annoy myself greatly. Okay, well, 
at least that makes it a little bit better. Still wasting space, which I hate, but... Purchase anything else. Okay. Okay, so. Okay, so I need strength, dexterity, and perception. Okay. So strength, dexterity, and perception. Our attack. Nice. <laughs> okay, so yeah, because Bart wants charisma and wisdom. Sound with wisdom and charisma, so that's strength and charisma, strength and dexterity. I'm gonna take that one down and put. Oh, I guess I can't put two of the same one. Well, that sucks. Okay. Well, that sucks. Okay. Until two days later. I mean, okay. If you want me to. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yay, my potions are a success. I'm the greatest. Hush. We just keep getting swarmed with more and more customers. It's been nonstop work for so long, Paimon's starting to feel a little bit 
I added. We've got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. Oh, is Lisa gonna come help me now that I'm overwhelmed? Maybe we should hire some help. Taking a break, cuties? Hi, Lisa. I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. Yay. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Hyman kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> <laughs> hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Oh, I guess I can't do it until I talk to Freda. Okay, I want to do my crops first. Hi! Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Looks like... All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Oh. I need more money now, okay. I understand, okay, that makes sense. So now I can upgrade more things, I get it. Okay. Uh, captain of a ship in Leo wants to improve constitution for new sailors affected seasickness recently. Number of people injured by monster attack. Horizon Deacon and a spire wants to replenish medicine stocks of the Church of Favonius. Do that. Constitution for new sailors and seasickness. Well, I'm not trying to help Barbara first, so. I mean, Constitution is probably what I need for both of them, honestly. 
Constitution healing probably is what I need. Healing and strengthening potion. Okay. Okay. No supplies nearby. Freda has brought new supplies. What the hell are these? A bottle ornament. Oh, there's ornaments. Neat. Okay. Wild. Okay. So I don't need that in stock anymore, really. Let's do Constitution. Okay. You may not exceed supplies. Ah, oh, Sucrose! You want to help me? You probably know a lot more about this than I do. Please help me, Sucrose. By the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. Please help me, Sucrose. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I wouldn't say that. I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if he became a potion master one day. I'm, I'm not going to be Still, that. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Probably. Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With... Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler. We could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. Don't make me do tests, Sucrose. Don't do this to me. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. 
Wonderful. I was a bad test so, taker in school. Let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, and expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Fuck. Okay. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. How many retakes? <laughs> Just let me know when you're ready. Okay. Oh, fuck. Prior secondary objective to the power to advance test and increase test rating based on the rating. Okay. Includes constitution. are quite practiced and your potion meets the requirements as well congratulations on passing the beginner exam that's good Ooh, that was a piece of cake even so it was no match for your skills all right i believe i've collected all the necessary feedback looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam i'm gonna head back to the lab now see you later traveler and paimon bye sucrose I love her. Sublime mastery. She's a precious cinnamon roll and I will die for her. Okay, Constitution Healing Strength.
go. Best flavor in the world? That's why I've never spent a single more on any of my snacks. I've won them all. Fair and square. <laughs> Ito is so funny. That's right. That's right. <laughs> something different. I wonder what I should try to make. I need to try to make like a healing... I need... Because it just needs to be healing strengthening. So, I need to do... Wait, because yeah, it needs constitution as the main thing. Maybe I'll do strength? Healing and strengthening? Maybe adding some of that in will help it? No, I just made a strength potion. Damn it, I fucked up. That's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Nice. 
Oh, Venti and Diona. Why is the drunk and the booze hater hanging out? <laughs> Looks like you're running a business. Oh, hey, Diona. And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell. I don't think I see it with bards. Again with the nonsense. Don't listen to him. We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Catsdale, so she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Venti. Well, that explains your enthusiasm, then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So, we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But, sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragon Spine. You want to drink a bird feather? It was once buried in the snow and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. And he is weird. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh. Because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Huh? Infuse the drink. With different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Hello, Mother. Oh, Paimon gets what he's saying. Ahem. <clears throat> You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene. How are you, Mother? Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in the Ugh. <sighs> But what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course. Okay, Ma, thank potions you. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. I'll Take probably be done soon anyway. Alchemy on your side. You could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Uh, what? I don't know. I don't have a strong preference right now. I can just make something for myself later. I don't have a strong preference right now. People never want to drink alcohol again. <laughs> Could you make something like that? Oh, then why are you asking what I want if you've made it? You're confusing me. <laughs> a potion that makes you'll never want to drink alcohol again. God, I wish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go making promises we can't keep, Traveler. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? I wish I could make a potion that wouldn't make people want to drink alcohol uh, ever again. What a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. No, I'll, I'll stop soon. You're it's good. Okay. You don't have to bring it. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. I'll be done soon. You don't have to bring Actually, it up. My bad. I misunderstood the question. I'm curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? Because her dad's a drunk, Venti. Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Ever been around a drunk Let person? Let me tell you. It's not a pleasant experience. I love Diana so much. Ah, so and her hatred of booze. Really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. I love that Diana hates mm. alcohol. <laughs> this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. But doesn't that defeat so the whole point of drinking? a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh. Sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Create something that invigorates the mind. Perfect! <laughs> I 
can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. Okay, Diana. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. I love Diana. <laughs> uh, some quick chinking elders are in poor health and looking to extend their lifespan. An exhilarating parching tournament underway in the Fortress of Meripede. So someone looking to buy a way to boost their physical capacities no matter the price. Okay. <laughs> Do I have something that would... What are my mental potions work for, Diana? How's the potion coming? Would it work? Oh yeah, strength and charisma, wisdom and charisma, constitution, strength. A potion with wisdom and steadying effects. So yeah, I guess strength and charisma. Is that... That'll work. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Sure, do that one. Wow. I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! All right, let's not get carried away. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait, don't leave without me. I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester. Of course. <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first Subject. <laughs> and just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, I'm able to develop something like that. I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Wowza, I still got a lot to do. And some of it's not even available yet. Wowza. Well, as fun as this was, sounds like my lunch is almost ready and I have been making potions for an hour and a half so I think I'm gonna stop for today at least we'll probably do more of that tomorrow so as always thank everyone for coming out and joining me I appreciate it as always so I will see you next time chat have a good one bye bye